So the update has just come out and we can back up our games finally, but not in the way that you would expect. You can't just go to data manage and save data cloud because it doesn't work that way for some reason. I It baffles me why this is, why? <laughs> what was the point of having it be like this? I don't know, like you can back it up, but the only way it lets you back it up is from inside the game using the new island backup system that's available. So once you've opened the game, you'll kind of get to that home screen where it says press A to go in your island. It kind of like has the logo there. You'll see once it says press A to go in, don't press A. Look to the bottom left, it says there's settings, right? And also say like your, your backups. So when you press that settings button, the minus button to open up those settings. So when you press that minus button that takes you to the settings, you'll see three different settings save data nook link and island backup obviously island backup is the one that we're going to be doing so you basically just click it uh, you can either have him explain it to you or just turn it on i just turned it on what happens is the game will update when you're not playing so once you're done playing and you've like saved your game and you've like, kind of closed it and you're just on the home screen on nintendo it will use your nintendo switch as long as it has an active internet connection to update the game like by itself which is interesting. But the main thing here is that you can only restore this data if your Nintendo Switch is lost or broken. So this means you have to actually have a new Nintendo Switch and kind of have it sent to Nintendo for them to back up your game island. Like, why is this so difficult? Like, if I lose my island, I gotta go to Nintendo to, like, restore my island? What? Why can't I just, you know, like, download the, the, uh, the, the, you know, the backup, like all the other games? Why does this one have to be different? It's so weird. The other two options, save data, lets you actually delete save data of other people on your island. If you're sharing an island with someone, like another account on your island, and they've made changes, they have their house, but they're not playing anymore, and you want to delete everything they've done, and like all the memories of them, you can literally delete them as if they were never on the island. I'm not sure why they added this, but it is a thing. Uh, if you want to actually delete your whole save of your game, you have to just go to your settings and delete entire save settings for the whole game. But this is only just to delete certain players that aren't you, so that they never existed on your island, which is <laughs> super weird. That's like friends and family on your Nintendo Switch. And the Nook Link is obviously the Nook Link between your phone through the Nintendo Switch mobile app to the Nintendo Switch itself, and just helps you like get those two connected. So if you are having connectivity issues, you can connect it through there to just you know get things working the way you you want it to. So yeah, I hope that explains how to back up your island save data. So at least you can back it up, but it's just through a means that's kind of weird. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Today is my birthday, so like happy birthday me! <laughs> I, I did have a little birthday party in Animal Crossing apparently, and it was it was really cute, and I'm so glad. Zucker was there. Like, that was awesome. That was cool. That was like a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. That was really cool. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.